Hey, I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for joining us on Beat Terrific. You're also watching us on GeekBeat.tv and Planet 5D. What's up, geeks? Thanks so much for watching. Hey, Planet 5Ders, we love you guys too. And of course, we love everybody on Beat Terrific. Don't forget to check out the Beat Terrific app. That is beatterrific.com slash app. It's positive, live, and original programming here on Beat Terrific. I'm with my good friend Tony from Atomos. Tony, I love this company. I think you guys just make such great products. You continue to innovate all the time. We're going to talk about some of the products in a minute. Talk about how the company got started. Well, the company was started about four years ago, had a tremendous growth curve. It really started out of uh, post-production. The guys, the founders that are back in Australia walked around the show at Inter B then and looked around and noticed that there's lots of external recorders and there's lots of monitors. And they thought, wouldn't it be great if we could just merge it all into one device to, to solve all the problems in one go? And that's what they did. Yeah, uh, I think that that's phenomenal. I think it's really necessary. Now it seems like second nature, but back then, yeah. I remember when it came out, uh, a guy by the name of Nils had really introduced me to it. I had kind of seen pictures, but a guy by the name of Nils Johnson, who's a good friend, had int really introduced me to it. And I saw Jeremy out, and uh, Jeremy's such a great guy. He's a superstar. He's a rock star. He's a rock star, yeah. And, and, and I said, this is amazing. It was so mind-blowing at the time to think that you could have a recorder and a monitor in one device. Yeah that gave you uh, all sorts of great features that was small, that could go on your camera, affordable media. Yeah, well, that's the thing. We're, we're a unique brand in the sense we're 50% post-production world, 50% uh, uh, production world. So we spend 50% of our time talking with Canon, with Sony, with Panasonic, with Nikon, with those guys. But equally, we spend 50% of our time talking with Apple, Adobe, Avid, and we put different features in for those two different worlds. We put in long recording times onto affordable media, great quality monitoring tools for the camera guys. But equally, we put in 10-bit recording, we put in director pro res recording for the pro res guys. So it's the best of both worlds, really. I use this stuff all the time. In fact, a few years ago, I realized that we're spending so much on memory cards that it was more efficient to not only have ninjas on every camera, but uh, it also meant that we were able to make sure that nothing came back out of focus anymore. And it gave us a slew of other features, including better quality content. It, you guys started with the Ninja and the Samurai. You've grown to the Ninja, now you've, then you had the Ninja 2 and the Samurai Blade. Yep. You now have the Samurai Blade and Ninja Blade, the Ninja Star, and the new star is the Shogun. Ready to go. Yes. Yeah, well, this is the first show where we've got actual models off the factory. So this is the final hardware that you're going to see in shops within another three weeks or so. It's not the final software yet. It's the same firmware we've been dealing with for a few uh, weeks now. But it's super exciting to have the final piece here at so, the show. So you've been teasing for a while. Yes. And it's finally here. This is it. This is it. This is what we're looking at. This is our high frame rate HD 4K recording. Uh, HD monitor, all in one device, balanced XLR out in the side, almost so, all everything. All right, you're running through everything, but let's let's talk for a second legitimately. So the first thing is you've got this great monitor. This is the newest, latest monitor as far as quality. Uh, talk about the monitor itself first. Okay, sure. What we're looking at is a 1920 by 1080 monitor. As you said, it's a world-class monitor in its own right, even before you forget about anything else. It's got a really high pixel density. Until now, there's nothing on the market that's got a greater than 300 pixels per inch density. And that's why you look at it and you just keep on wanting to look at it. It's really engaging monitor and to look at. it's actually an HD monitor is what you're saying. Yep, it's a full HD monitor, that's so, right. So, and the only knock on Atomos when it first came out was that the monitor maybe wasn't as good as people would have liked. Uh, there were features like focus assist, false color that helped. Still in here, but now you've got a stunning monitor. Then we go to... And, well, some new features as well. As you said, we started with the Ninja 2, really for the post guys in mind, ProRes Direct Recording, and then they added, as they talked with uh, cinematographers, they needed to add a higher resolution screen, all the monitoring tools. With, with uh, Shogun, we've also added in a few extra features as well. So outside of having all of your normal monitoring features, you can also notice here we've got two to one and one to one zoom. So you can lock in on that and you can start to move around. We haven't got this hooked up to a camera here on the wall, but you can move that around inside the 4K image and really pick out the parts of a, a full HD image that you want to draw out. I think people also don't realize how important focus peaking, uh, yeah. zebras, which uh, you guys call zebras. 
uh, uh, certainly Jeremy. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, that's something that hasn't, you don't see much uh, when you're not in ENG rigs. Um, but, but bring me back to those days. r are certainly important. You've got false color, which is great. You've got grace uh, half tone. Yep. And um, now you've added waveform and, and uh, vector scope, is that correct? Yeah, we've got, we've got that there as well. So that's in the focus section. We've also got, oh, it's not, not lit up there, but yeah, we'd have waveform and vector scope as well. RGB parade, and everything. You've got flagging so you can even set in points and out points for the content so you can create an EDL. That's exactly right, X, oh, straight on the XML file. So what you could be doing is either during recording or after recording, you're traveling back on the plane. You could go in there and check while you're on the plane, check to make sure you had right focus, check you had the right exposure levels. But as you said, you can also flag your favorite in and out points and they're going to be marked on the final file that you drop in on Final Cut or in Premiere. It's, it's phenomenal. And what I really like about this is this is a much bigger screen. It's really, you know, I don't know if I'm getting older and my eyes are getting worse or if, <laughs> It's just that because of the sharpness of the images, because of the shallow depth of field, it is harder and harder to focus. And you can see clearly on these monitors, but they're also lightweight. They maintain very lightweight. And you have quarter 20 on the top and the bottom, which is really important to be able to mount accessories on top and a great place to mount the Atomos sunshade. What I think is cool with this one is now you have XLR in and out which is great so that you don't necessarily need to have an audio mixer with you now because you, this has an audio mixer built in. You can feed two channels in and two channels out. That's exactly right and it all comes with it. It's not an optional accessory like most of the things that with us. No optional extra for AC adapter, no optional extra for the caddies that come with it, no optional extra for the dock. You even get a hard carry case that comes with it and as you said for the audio, this uh, breakout Limo cable that will take you to your 2XLR in, 2XLR two, two out, um, will we'll feed you balanced audio in as well. So you're getting great audio with great video. And power, so you can do phantom power and all that. Um, I'm really impressed. You know, Jeremy and you guys have always figured out a way to do it right, to package it right. I, there's no extras, right? No, there's, uh, you get it all here in the package, in the box, and I love that. Uh, I love that I can buy this walk home and, and set it up. Uh, it has. It takes one hard drive, whether that's a spinning disk, HDD, or an SSD, just like all the other Atomos products. Um, and it takes. This only has one battery slot, but uh, you, first of all, the batteries last forever. Let's they be honest. Forever, yeah. And second, you have an optional, or does it come with it? I think it comes with it. We're gonna. It's gonna be optional. Does it optional. Start? Okay. Yeah, battery optional battery, battery station that will also power your camera, your lights, your cell phone. All right, I'm buying one just for my cell phone to power my cell phone like 16 times from zero and my iPad. Um, and so you have that optional battery dock, but you're also going to have for 4K a rated hard drive back. Yep, there's a few good optional extras that are going, that are, uh, going to come about a month after. And you mentioned one, the rated caddy system on the back will really turn what we think will make 4K truly affordable. We're going to have a rated system which will let you put two hard drives together, rate them together. So you're talking about $140 for a two terabyte system to get five hours of 4K ProRes. So it's crazy. It's like videotape for 4K. It's just... It's insane. It. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. Yeah, it, it really is, and and it's terrific. So then you've you've got the you've got the full line here. You've got even the Ronin here, which is yeah. great for rack mounting. Um, and and I just think you know these are all just tremendous products. But I think what's great is you guys listen to the consumers. You make modifications. You have affordable price points, and you make a great product. It's good build quality. It's phenomenal, and. I think that's what the company was founded on, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's such a great story. It's guys who weren't happy where they were, saw a hole in the marketplace, said we can fill this void and we can really provide for filmmakers and for post-production. You can use it in live, which we do. You can use it in regular production and you can use it in post-production. It's a great system, it's a great setup and it's affordable. That's why we've switched everything to it. Oh, great. And it's so true, it's sort of like the guys Everything is done in-house. That's the reason people, a lot of us, a lot of the time consumers ask, once I show them the case, the accessories, what the product will do, they're like, where do you make your money? And, and really it's through great design. The guys think long and hard about what goes into the product. It's all done in-house. There's no off-the-shelf parts that we have to pay others for. Uh, and that's why we can deliver great products and great solutions to consumers. 
Well, I can't wait to get the Shogun. I know that we're going to put it on an A7S and have a lot of other fun with it. I think we need one for our uh, live mobile production rig. Uh, the bigger screen size will be great, and it will do amazing. Also, I like the cross-converting. We didn't mention that. You can go from HDMI to SDI, SDI to HDMI, or HDMI to HDMI, SDI to SDI. So that's really tremendous. Yeah. Uh, you also have the Kinex which are great, but you don't need it with the Shogun. No, it's all, it's all in-house. I said... Man, we could have used that for Engadget Expand Live. <laughs> well, it's a, that's the thing. It's a super flexible system. Any camera, because it, direct, it records the ProRes, any camera because you can choose HDMI or SDI, and it's, yeah. It's, and you're taking the image right off the sensor, giving us uncompressed, the highest ProRes, ready to edit, no transcoding. Tony, how did you get involved with the company? How did I get involved? It's a funny story. I, I knew Jeremy back in university days, known him for a long, long time. Uh, worked with the Japanese for a long time myself in marketing. Uh, worked for 10 years with Pioneer Electronics. And out of the blue, Jeremy asked me. I said no. He went and hassled my wife. And here I find myself six months later working for Adamus, so it's great. A pretty awesome story. I like that you guys have known each other a long time since you know, your school days and stuff. When you were watching it grow on the outside, I'm sure Jeremy said, hey, I'm starting this company, and you watched it kind of skyrocket. It really, you know, it was really like a rocket ship off the launching pad. This wasn't a slow launch. I think it even surprised Jeremy. What, what were your thoughts? We just stood back and watched. You know, as friends, you get to stand back and, oh, we're just so proud of what he's been able to do. Um, it is four years, but it's been 20 years in the making. Those guys have, have lived through some big, high-profile companies themselves in the 20 years before that. They've done a lot of great things for other companies. It's just so pleasing to see that they can do it for themselves now, uh, and, and it's really kicking goals. They're doing great. great what do you work. get excited about? I just love the reactions of consumers. It's like we've invented fire for the first time. When, when you get to show someone what it does, and more importantly, the problems that they get to solve out of it, that's the joy you get when, when you just know you don't have to do any selling. It's like introducing people to what it does. It's you, know, you know what's most amazing to me is you guys make the simple stuff better. Like you've made HDMI cables better. You've given us right angles. You've coiled cables, all sorts right. of other things. I don't have to have a 25-foot cable hanging down from the camera. You came out with the Ninja Star for GoPros. We're making GoPros better quality. I mean, it's just everything. And, you know, I talked to Jeremy a lot at IBC about... Um, about codecs and what the different codecs mean and when do you want to use the different codecs and all yeah. that stuff. And I think that that's really important. So that's a good interview you can watch. You go to vimeo.com slash Teradek, check that one out, um, because it's really important to know when, it's, when to use which codec. You know, we talked a lot about RAW, RAW video, and why 99% of the people don't need RAW video and don't need to take up the extra storage. And there are a lot of people who don't need to do 4K. Right. And don't, so you got to know when to use what when to save the money on the budget and the time and all that stuff, but you guys are across the board making it easier for everybody. It's terrific. I'm looking forward to what's next, I'm sure. At NAB 2015, there'll be a huge announcement, Absolutely. and I can't wait to get my hands on the newest products. It's so great to see you, to interview you, to hang out with you and Heather, and uh, we're missing Jeremy. Where are you, rock star? Oh, that's right, he's being a rock star. We'll see you soon, Jeremy. I'm Michael Artsis for everybody at Be Terrific. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to download our app, beterrific.com slash app. Be terrific.